Hi, welcome back to Coles KRC. So, the other day I posted a video of this when I did my unboxing and initial overview and this is going to be a second part of that but this is going to include flight footage and I'm obviously going to go through the app. So I've done a small flight with this and just done the basic test, does it fly okay and I'm going to show you what the camera looks like and then coming up I'm going to have some proper videos with some proper flight footage etc. So, this is going to give you a taste of how good it looks. So let's just go through the drone. So you know I had the problem with the cable. Well, I've just I got a new cable for it. I got one from Amazon. It was three or four quid, so that fixed that. And the only other issue I had with this, I've had to do the firmware update because it wouldn't take off. It kept coming up and telling me it had an issue with the accelerometer, which apparently is quite common. I did the firmware update, and it's gone away. So I then. Did that, I've done the update on it, the next, and then yesterday I got another update, so I've done that update. And then today I've just taken it up and flown it. So, this is my initial impressions, because I can't give you a long term view of this, or my overall full thoughts on it, because I've only flown it once. But I'm impressed, it flies nice, it's quick, it's stable, it goes where exactly where you want it to do, and I think for the money it's incredible value. You're going to see the video footage, some, in some places looks a bit dark, I didn't mess with anything, so nothing's been adjusted, I have flown this stock, whereas normally I would mess around with the EV and stuff to get better, to get my values better, but I didn't do any of that, so this is completely stock, auto settings, straight out of the box. And that's what I wanted to do today, to fly it. I didn't try and fly it slow to get cinematic footage. I hammered it about a bit. You're going to see from the video what it looks like. I think it looks great for the money. I don't think you can go wrong. So yeah, initially, fantastic. I love everything about it so far. The only issue that I had was that small issue with the cable and the fact that it needed a firmware update, which maybe isn't the best. Maybe they should have done that so it get it out of the box. You could at least fly it. But the firmware update is available to do through the app, so you don't have to take an SD card out, you don't have to take your computer, the app will tell you it needs a firmware update and it just does it. The app is very DJI-esque in a lot of ways, some people might not like that, I absolutely love it because of it. I love the fact that the app's very much like that, it's got a lot of information on there, the app is superb, I have suffered no breakup or anything like that and the picture coming back to my screen was phenomenal. Uh, much why they did the Femi A3 the way they did they should have just done it the same way and they've had a great drone it's spoiled by the fact it's 5.8 gigahertz in my opinion I know some people love it for that but to me it spoils it a bit so initial impressions yeah I highly recommend this I'm now going to show you the app I'm going to show you a couple of minutes on the app I'll record it on my phone so you've got it and I'll do a voiceover so you can see what the app looks like. I'm not going to go through every feature, I'm going to show you the features that I like on the app and how good I think it is. And then after that's finished I'll cut straight into the video footage, the couple of minutes of me flying it around and I take some photos that I'm going to show you just to show you how stable it looks. Bearing in mind that with the 12 mile an hour crosswind today so you'll see the return to home, I do actually say this on the video, but the return to the ho return to home was quite a bit, well, not miles out, but it didn't hit the map, let's put it that way. But there is quite a bit of crosswind. Uh, like all these drones that are very low to the floor, you really do could do with landing it, it on there, on the map, or in very, very short grass. The grass I was in, and it tends to try and stall your motors, but you can live with that. If I'd have flown it manually, obviously I'd have landed it on the map, but I wanted to test out the return to home. So you're going to get some kind of idea. As I say, I'll have another video posted shortly of this, probably in a few days' time, with some more features, and then I'm going to go straight into a comparison between this and the Xiaomi 4K drone, and then I'll obviously do the comparison, which is probably what everybody wants to see, which is this against the Xeno, and then I'll probably do it against the Parrot and Afe. If there's anything else you'd like me to compare it to, let me know in the comments down below, and I would gladly do that. But so far, so good. It's a winner so far. I can't explain how nicely this thing flies. It's very fast. I was shocked how fast it was. And bearing in mind, I'm not at full speed or anything. I've not messed with the settings. So they can all be done at a later date. So enjoy the flight footage coming up. Bear with me for the couple of minutes of the app because I wanted to show you that because I love the app and I think it's really good. If you want to skip past that, by all means, do skip past it and go straight to the flight footage the flight footage is coming after the bit so the first bit's going to show you me flying it around and I'll be talking and then after a while I'll just leave you pure pure flight footage so you can see what 
the video looks like, which I think what most of you are interested in. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Okay, so I want to go through the app with you. I'm not going to go through all the functions because there's a lot of functions on here that will do in other videos, such as all the flight modes, etc. I want to go through the basics for you and the things that I love. The first screen on the settings shows you your limit of flight speed, etc. Your flight distance, you can set all these. Your return to home height, your limit of your flight height. Make sure you set that to the parameter of the country you're living in. Don't go too high. You can put it in beginner mode. It shows the amount of magnetic in interference, bearing in mind that it's now sat on the side of a computer, it's going to get some. Calibrated compass and all the rest of it. The screen, the second screen is your RC calibration and stick mode, so you can adjust your calibra calibrate your sticks, put it into mode 1, 2, 3 or 4. And then underneath here is your 5 direction button, which is the joystick underneath the right hand gimbal. And this is what you can adjust to get your fl to get these to where you want them. I have up. For instance, on if I press up, it goes into the map. If I could change it to any of these here that show on the screen now, you could do that. I, I like it the way it is. Let's come back into that. The battery. This is a fantastic screen. So this tells you your battery voltage, how much you've got left in it, but more importantly, how many milliamps it's using. Are you draining too much out of this battery at any time? It tells you how many charges it's had. It tells you its temperature. And if it's ever been discharged, it makes a massive difference. And you can adjust your other things like return to home and battery only enough for return to home. In the bottom you've got, you can have standard or satellite map. I tend to leave it standard. You can then change your units from metric to imperial. Your firmware update is in this screen. However, if it does need one, it's going to tell you before you even enter the app. You've got your camera setting buttons on this side, on your right hand side. And you can adjust as you know normally you can do ntsc or pal you can have video mode camera mode video size video quality white balance auto color general style all this was filmed in basic settings i didn't touch the ev value on the right hand side control i just flew it as it came out of the box it's important that you know that when you watch the video because obviously this isn't the best quality video you're ever going to get out of it you'll get a lot better if you mess with it this is where your flight modes are. So you've got waypoint, smart track, orbit, tap to flight, drone, spiral. You've then got cinematic mode, which is what I would have flown in normally. Tripod mode, in other words, really slow, fixed wing to fly like a plane and course lock. And then the other you've got in here is SAR. I'm not sure what that is, I'll have to have a read. Someone will probably tell me in the comments. If you do know, let me know in the comments. Top of the screen, you've got your height, your distance, your speeds, your status and on the bottom of the screen you then have loads of other things which are all related to the camera settings again this is from stock you can format your card from in here sorry you can format your card from the camera button so if you go into the camera button you go into general you can format your sd card i've actually put the wrong card in here one thing i do need to point out you need to film you need to fly with a u3 card if you want to get 100 megabits per second if you fly with a u1 i tested this out earlier you only get 60 megabits per second it goes on the speed of your card so it'll film and give you the processing to the speed of your card great idea so that's all i want to go through i'll go through loads of other stuff where you're in further videos but i just wanted to give you a quick overview of the app and i don't want it to go on too long the next bit of footage you've got coming up is me flying it filming it with a gopro so you could get a general idea what it looks like in the air straight after that you've got the flight footage enjoy thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day we're ready to go so the idea of this test is purely going to be to see how it flies and show you some camera footage and then i'll do all the rest of the stuff in another video so let's see if it takes off there is a bit of wind today a bit of crosswind probably about seven eight miles an hour Probably a bit more than that actually, but you can see it's not doing bad. So there is quite a lot of movement there. But I think you can see from the trees behind how windy it is. So let's just get up close to it. It's doing well, it's not really dropping its height too bad, it's just moving about with the wind, which is what you'd expect. So let's see how it flies in the wind. So what we're going to do is what we normally do, we're going to fly it around and 
do some turns see if it drops height and I think the answer to that is no it's not dropping its height it's holding its height really well there you go the wind's died down a little bit I hope you can see it now the wind's died down how steady it looks feels really really quick as well so I'm not going to mess around with the cinema settings on this today or anything like that we're just going to fly it uh, and then we'll mess around with them on another video I'm not going to slow it down or anything like that I'm just going to leave it stock out of the box well apart from the firmware update and all I want to do is see how well it flies okay so let's start the video In fact, let's just take some photos, which is something I don't normally do. So let's take some photos. Let's see how the good the photos look. I'll obviously put them up on the screen. I'm quite surprised how quick it is. It's actually really smooth. Let's take another picture. Okay, so let's just start some video. So we're now recording video, I think. I hope. In fact, before we start doing some video, let me just take it out a little bit. I think I set the return to home at 30 meters, so height. So let me just, let's do a return to home, shall we? Yeah, it's set it to 30 meters, so it's gonna do a return to home. I hope you can see that on the screen. Let's see how accurate it is. We saw we set off from the mat, so let's just see how accurate it is. So it's rising obviously because I wasn't at 30 metres at that point. Here it comes. If it's going to be a mile off the mat, I'll probably stop the video. I don't want it to hit the box it came in. Let's just move the box out of the way. I hope, you can, I hope that's in camera shot. Crosswind's hitting it a bit there, as you can see. Yeah, so it was blown about a bit by the wind there, so...
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up